Hey guys, welcome back into Dom Details Daily, a daily way off commentary as a spinoff to my weekly sports segment show, Way Off. So today we're talking about Marshawn Lynch. I woke up this morning with news that he's actually looking at um, reinstatement into the league for this season and an easy letter to the commissioner should be able to get him back into the league. Looks like he's going to head over to Oakland, um, which should be fairly easy seeing as he is still under contract with the Seahawks. And trading shouldn't be an issue for him and the Seahawks seeing as if we're looking at right now without a lot of movement um, and with cap space only considering the top 51 rule, the Seahawks only have about 10 mil in salary cap space before the draft. And obviously Beast Mode's contract is sitting at about 9 mil right now. It also looks like the Seahawks would be looking to ask um, Lynch for two and a half million back just out of performances and performance bonuses again for the same reason he did not play last season so there's that Oakland right now is sitting around 33 mil in cap space um, which obviously isn't a problem to them as far as affording beast mode in his contract but I have a hard time believing that they're going to pay him that much seeing as he took a year off from the league there's another rumor going around that he's looking at teams that potentially will take Sherman and his trade negotiations wherever he may end up, which I do have a hard time believing just because of Sherman's contract. Now, Sherman's contract is at elite numbers because of his elite level play. He's sitting at about 22 mil for the next two years. So for an organization to take on 11 and 11 half mil in their cap space, again, considering right now, not much movement, not the draft, just with the top 51 rule. If we're looking at Beast Mode's contract right now, you know, taking on about $20 million isn't going to be the easiest for too many teams. So I just have a hard time believing that one. Of course, like I said, I have a hard time believing that they're going to be paying Beast Mode that much money. Um, it's really interesting to me how all of this came about. He obviously played in the 2015 season because the Seahawks were looking to pay him $12 million, which he gladly took um, instead of opting for retirement. But he decided to opt for, opt for retirement the second year. So either that number was sitting really pretty or he really just missed the game, which, I mean, I feel like a lot of players deal with the same thing, which will lead me into Tony Romo eventually. Not this, not this episode, though. As far as if it's about money, which I highly doubt it is, um, any money that they don't pay him now, he can probably make up in endorsement deals. I can see those booming off the charts for him whenever he makes his return. So we'll see that, and we'll see what happens with Sherman. This is Dom Details Daily, Way Off, Way Out. We'll see you on the next episode of Way Off coming at you this Saturday.